So uh, I, I traded Wells Fargo this morning, if you guys remember. Um, and then on that video, like while I was creating that video, because these videos are live, I re-entered a position on Wells Fargo. So go back, watch that video earlier this morning. As I said in that video this morning, as like... I say this a lot, but I really specified that in this video this morning that I trade live and not necessarily live live, but I will make videos multiple times per day based around a trade or a ticker so that you guys get the understanding of what I'm looking at while I'm taking a trade. I'm not going to be one of those educators or gurus, I hate that word, who will sit there and recap what has already happened because you're always going to be right when you do that. But at the end of the day, it's basically bullshit because you're looking back. It's like reading a book as opposed to writing a book, right? And so earlier this morning with Wells Fargo, when we talked about that, I talked about this uh, open range breakout that we had here basically at 10 a.m., this big push up. And the reason I cut that position was because we had this resistance point here that was an old support yesterday that would intraday act as a new resistance. We saw this pullback. And I re-entered here at about 11.30 a.m. If you guys go back, watch that video. I re-entered here, we pushed up, we pulled back, and I said I would set a stop loss with a clear break of this intraday support. We broke momentarily. I was this close to cutting my position and hitting a stop loss. But I never stick hard stops in because I've been doing this for so long that I don't have to. I understand what market makers will do purposely drive a stock through support, buy it back up, stop you out, and then rally. And so I held here, and then we saw this big push up, open range breakout, pulled back down, tested that ORB, and then ran up. And as soon as we tapped 39, which is what that resistance point was before, I ended up taking my profit off the table. Look what happened, pulled back down, and I would have actually ended up um, even on the day. So that's why I took that position. Open range breakout is like one of my favorite ways to trade. Um, I'll continue to do these day trade updates and day trade videos if it interests you guys, but overall pretty slow day. I wasn't trying to overcomplicate things. I wasn't trying to trade too much. Um, currently right now I do have a couple of positions open. Um, if you guys are interested in that Weeble video or having me just start a small account, I'm just doing it for myself. To be quite honest, I wasn't even going to go ahead and, uh, record it because I hate having these concrete like every week updates but I feel that it would be very good for you guys to understand what it takes to grow a small portfolio in a realistic time frame and with a realistic goal in mind especially risk management uh, because from risk management when you have a small account like you can blow it up so easily and I see it happen time and time again so we're gonna be focusing a lot on spreads uh, but you'll see in the video I put out later tonight exactly uh, my strategy and what I plan to do Guys, thanks for all the support. Hit the like button, subscribe. Go and check out our Discord community below. The link is in the description. And as always, guys, use proper risk management. And thank you for all of the support. Peace.